Hey everyone, this is Kestrel Raptorial, and I've done it. I have went out and bought the third Pokemon Sun and Moon Core Starter Deck, which focuses on the Water Starter Pokemon. A cute little, uh, Sea Lion Mermaid? Uh, seal hybrid, I guess. Uh, the starter is this one called Poplio. Cute. Uh, so this is a water and lightning deck. Uh, interestingly, only the, uh, only the grass deck was, uh, one type of Pokemon, both the fire and water decks uh, also have a secondary type with the fires being fighting, the waters being lightning. I am working on creating a uh, advanced version of a of the Johto water and lightning uh, starter deck. It came out a long time ago, like in 2000 or maybe 2001. Um, the one that uh, focused on Totodile and uh, Chinchow had a Holofoil Kindra. Um, the name of the deck is on the tip of my tongue. I'll have to look it up. But I'm creating a uh, an advanced version of those, not not using cards from the Neo, Neo Genesis, but uh, uh, updated versions. Anyway. Uh, I'll be working on that some other time. So, uh, as before, we're going to go through this deck, take a look at the deck list. Oh, the coin's cute. Poplio. <laughs> and uh, so a lot of people have been asking me for the codes to the uh, deck, the Pokemon Training Card Game Online Codes. I guess I can do that. Um, I guess I'll just write them in the comments. Uh, I'm going to use them. Uh, do they... Well, when you buy the decks, are, are the codes all the, all the same or do they have individual... You know, it doesn't really matter. I probably won't be focusing on these decks much anyway, but uh, for myself, I, I build different types. Mostly focusing on the flying types. I really like flying flying type Pokemon. Anyway, uh, I use my electric blue sleeves for this, my favorite color. Let's take a look. So, we have, to begin with, 12 water energies. All the same, beautiful blue color. I do love the new designs for the energy cards. Uh, let's see. There should be eight lightning energy. Yep. Okay. Yeah, eight lightning energy. Very brightly colored. Again, pretty color. One Ultra Ball. Two Timer Balls. I thought it'd be two. One Professor Kukui. Still not sure if that's how I'm supposed to pronounce it, but eh, that's what it looks like. Ah, this time we got two potions. I think in the other decks we only got one. I still myself don't really use potions. Two nest balls. I like nest balls. Although I'd probably replace them uh, customizing these, this deck, I'd buy dive balls to replace them with. One lily. Two 
to how. And one energy retrieval. And then we'll get to the Pokemon. So yeah, the, uh, the trainer cards... Um, the list of trainer cards between the three Sun and Moon starter Pokemon decks are almost identical. Couple, couple of differences, but near identical. To Spearow, wasn't expecting Spearow to be in this deck. To Lillipup, kind of wish they'd put uh, Eevee and Vaporeon in, in here, but I'm guessing they won't. To Herdier. To, let's see. Toga de Maru. That's an interesting name. Um, I have not seen that Pokemon before. I'm not too familiar with the new Pokemon yet. I keep trying to get the, uh, well, trying to look for Pokemon Sun and Moon booster packs. Haven't seen them yet. To Chinchou. Uh, which also came in that Johto starter deck a long time ago. Not the same Chinchou, of course, but, uh, yep, we've got a lantern. Uh, Cold Fusion. That was the name of the deck. Cold Fusion, yeah. To Corsola. Corsola is a Generation 2 Pokemon, as, as are uh, Chin Chow and Lantern. I yeah. always thought Corsola was cute. Never understood why it didn't get an evolution, though. They can make a whole Coral Reef Pokemon. To Wingull. Well, it fits in a little better with an Ocean deck. Uh, I would want... The, uh, the Osprey bird Pokemon, uh, Pidgeot. I want Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot in this deck. Uh, Wingle's good, no? uh, but, you know, Pidgeot is awesome. Uh, oh, um, to Shelter and Cloyster. I thought they'd give us at least one Pelipper. But uh, there's Shelter and Cloister. Cool thing about Cloister is it kind of resembles the uh, the Oyster Adamant Barrage Demon from Inuyasha, Hosenki. So if I ever trained a Cloister, um, when I did in the games, which was rare, it wasn't a common choice for me, I would name it Hosenki. Uh, Psyduck. I am just not a Psyduck fan at all. Ah, they give us a Gold Duck, but not a, not a Pelipper. Uh, I guess it's okay. I'll definitely be replacing them with something. Maybe some Eevees and Vaporeons and Gyarados. Mantines. I love Mantine. Yeah, so I got some options. And we've made it to the starter Pokemon. Three Poplio. Two Brione. Primarina. That's the final form. And the 
Holofoil Primarina. It is a beautiful Pokemon. I, I will say that. I don't know if there are enough um, Pokemon with mermaid-like characteristics to make a mermaid Pokemon deck. Um, the thought came to me just uh, seeing this final form. Uh, certainly Vaporeon, which I'll be adding. I don't know what others. Guess you could just go for a overall undersea theme and either keep the electric Pokemon in there Replace them with some of your favorites, maybe. Maybe some cute Pikachu. Um, or could convert it to an all-water Pokemon deck. The undersea theme. Corsola is good to keep in. Um, I think that, that Corsola card had a call for family ability that lets you search for other basic Pokemon. Where is Corsola? Ah, here we go. Oh yeah! Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. So that's good to keep around. Um, I really like the G the Neo Genesis Mantine. Um, and also the Delta Species Mantine. Cool thing, in a Water and Lightning Pokemon deck, what I like to do is have four Mantines in there, two Neogenesis Mantines, which is a water type, and two Delta Species Mantine, which is an electric type, and two Hole and Adventurers. The Neogenesis Mantines are awesome on their own. The Delta Species Mantines uh, can be discarded to use Hole and Adventure to its fullest extent. I like to have that in Water and Lightning decks. And of course there are other combinations you can pull off. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for an undersea theme here. I think I'm probably gonna get rid of these uh, these colorless Pokemon types because there's they're not ones I care that much about. Put Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot for the Osprey Pokemon. And uh, see what else I wanna do with it. Ospreys, Evolutions, Mantine, maybe Gyarados. Um, 